hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is Ere and in today's video we are going to talk about all the essentials you need to run your take a lot business your online store whether it's a Shopify, Big Cartel, WooCommerce any other online store you have you need the basics to be able to ship to customers or to ship to take a lot warehouse if you are a take a lot seller so you're gonna need these basics so stay tuned and watch the full topic I'm just gonna go ahead and start with take a lot because we don't really need a lot of things with take a lot so I'm just gonna show you the basics and I'm gonna start from the most expensive to the cheapest that you're gonna need the first one this one you're also gonna need it when you're applying to sell on take a lot which is going to be a laptop or a desktop so I tried viewing the seller portal with my cell phone but I can't see everything so it's not made to work on a cell phone so you're gonna really need a laptop or a desktop so this is the most expensive from the list of the things that you're gonna buy so if you already have you are sorted even when you are applying to sell on take a lot you are gonna need a laptop to start so this is very important you cannot go ahead with the business without it so the second thing you're gonna need is a printer the printer that I'm using if you've seen it in the previous video is just a white normal HP a printer and it can print everything so if you're afraid that maybe it's not made to print out the barcodes the barcodes come in a4 papers which you can easily print out with any basic printer you don't need to go and buy a special or any expensive printer mine when i bought it it was around 300 rand 400 rand but it was a long time ago but even if it's expensive or if i don't know if it's discontinued from the shops but you can get it from about 600 rand 500 rand so that's the second most expensive thing that you need to run this business so you cannot go without these things unless you are willing to go to the internet cafe each and every time when you have to ship stock you then you can then try and do that in the beginning so these are the things that you're going to need to print out with that that printer that you bought so the first one i'm going to start with Typec A4 papers. Typec is the brand, and then these A4, I mean the the, the Typec A4 papers. Each time when you're sending to one warehouse, you're gonna need to print out three pages. So I mean three paperworks. So the other one is going to be a shipping note and the confirmation letter. So the confirmation letter is always one and the shipping note is going to be two depending on how many products you're sending so if you are sending many products just remember that you might print out many pages but you're going to need but you're going to need two the other one is going to be the one that you leave in the warehouse as proof that you have sent stock and the other one you're going to keep with you also that you have proof that you have indeed sent your stock to the warehouse so those are the shipping notes that you're going to print out from the a4 type pack pages so depending on the pages that you're printing out you're going to leave one for you and the other one for the warehouse those are the uh, third most expensive things because these two now uh, the this uh, the other one is the 45 up product levels so product levels are the are what we call barcodes so the barcodes are 45 up i don't know if you will be able to see this so i'm gonna just put it closer to the camera Forty-five up. So that's uh, the brand is. Uh, it's a red fan. It's on the other side. So this is the brand. It's a very good brand for me. It's a red fan. I don't know how other brands work because I've never tried other brands. But uh, usually other people, depending on the brand, they go together. So this is six up, which is all, which is called the shipping label. So these are the ones that you put outside your box when you are done packaging your products. Outside your box, you're going to put these shipping labels, which are six in an A4 page. So if you're sending one box, 
you're gonna print out one if you're sending two boxes you're gonna print out two so Uh, usually, so usually they they range about 350 or 400, 450, 500. Uh, they go together as two items. When you buy them, you can uh, you can get these from Macro, your big retail stores, and also it take a lot, so you can get these uh, uh, these uh, labels from this. Uh, the, from where I have mentioned I'm also going to leave the list in the description below so that you can just go and reference if you need something from the description so these are the th uh, three paper works that you're going to need 45 up which is the product level the six up which is the shipping level and the a4 papers for shipping notes and confirmation later now the confirmation letter you only print out one per warehouse so at the gate this one it, you also you show them at the gate the, the confirmation letter you show them at the gate it, it also have your allocated time of arrival so when you arrive at the gate if you're late they're going to turn you back using that letter so you, you you only print out one and then the shipping notes one for you one for the warehouse i hope i'm clear and now you're gonna need the big brown boxes i'm just gonna show them here somewhere in the screen so that you know what i'm talking about because i forgot to i forgot to take the the boxes the big brown boxes so the boxes that you're gonna use to put your product in they must not be written anything so just a normal uh, boxes that um also gonna list down and also where you can get these boxes so those are the boxes that you're gonna need and when you're done putting in your product labels and your shipping label on the outside of the box you're gonna need a buffer tape so i prefer a clear tape because it makes things look uh, neat so i prefer the clear tape and also scissors to cut there's also the one that comes with um you don't need to cut with scissors it just it's like um a stapler or something like it has something to just cut i don't know what we call it so you can either buy, buy that one it's under and something you can buy that as well so that you don't need to carry scissors and these are the things that you can forget to buy at the shop so that's why i'm also mentioning them because i know it's easy to forget to buy these things you, and when you're done packaging you just find out that you don't have a tape and you have to go get it so these are very important and also your pages your shipping pages if there are too many you're gonna need a stapler to staple them together so that you don't lose your um, you don't mix up your pages you're gonna need a stapler so those are the only things that you need for your tailored business i'm trying to look around to see if i have left anything out but it looks like we have everything covered so you're gonna need your paperwork so the typex papers are they're very cheap I've, no, I've only bought this pack it has 500 sheets and so this one with 500 sheets i don't even remember how much i bought it but these are like so together you can use 500 rand for your paperwork so to buy the 45 up the 6 up and the a4 red fan paper uh, type of papers you can spend uh, roughly 500 rand and then you will be able to ship your products to the warehouse with these basics so for you to be able to know how much each product weigh you're gonna need a weighing scale especially this is for those who are manufacturing or producing their own products maybe you are a sewist or you're an artist you're doing paintings so you're gonna have to buy a weighing scale to weigh the product for storage they need to know the weight and also the volume of your product how much space your product is going to occupy so just make sure that we have a weighing scale if you're if you're not buying from a manufacturer because manufacturers usually they can tell you that because they know how much each product weighs so those are the only things that you're gonna need to get your business started as a take a lot seller now let's go to those who have Shopify stores who have their own stores so you're still gonna need scissors you're still gonna need your staplers but let's go into packaging in details so remember your products 
if you are selling these tapes you're going to need to pull them in the box where the customers are going to get them so let's say one customer order one tape of course you're going to need a smaller box or a smaller packaging so i for my business i have two different sizes for my packaging so that if you're buying something smaller i don't have to give you a huge box so these are the box boxes that i have different sizes and these are the sizes so this one is very big it fits an a3 an a3 paper bag and these ones they can even fit into the a4 paper bag for shipping so the small ones so this is for those who are buying so this is the size especially if you're buying something smaller so this is the size that you're gonna need if you're selling smaller items and the bigger one let's see if it's gonna fit in the screen let's try to close it so this is the bigger one and this is the smaller one the smaller one is like the width of the bigger one so i've got something like this and there so so you're gonna need these boxes so depending on what you're selling you're gonna decide which which packaging you, you're gonna use you may use paper bags paper bags paper bags like this ones depending on what you're selling also and then when you're done uh, with the the boxes the outer boxes you're gonna need a uh, paper tissues to cover all your products so let's say your product maybe is covered in in a in its own packaging box then you just cover with the paper tissue uh, paper tissue and after that, that's what I do for my business. So I'm showing you the things that I have that gets my business running. So after that, um, so for this paper tissue to be able to close, so let's say I'm folding it like this and also folding it like this. After that, I'm gonna use the stickers, the thank you stickers. So I'm just gonna take the sticker and place it here. And I'm just going to use the sticker and place it somewhere here so that this paper tissue has closed. So I have boxes, paper tissues, stickers. Thank you, stickers. And when I'm done packaging inside, I'm going to then add the thank you cards. So I'm going to add the thank you cards. Thank you cards are purple in color. So these are the thank you cards. So I'm going to add the thank you cards inside. So this helps me. I don't add the business card because I've got my social media handles, everything here, and also the message that I want to uh, send. And it, also, if you need a um, personal message, I'm just going to write it at the back of the thank you card. So I'm going to insert the thank you card. And after that, I'm going to use this ribbon to tie everything. So the ribbon it goes with my logos and my my brand which is purple which is this purple of the thank you card so these are the same colors so you can decide to do this these are the same colors that i use these are the same colors that i use so this goes with my branding and then after that i'm just gonna close my boxes Sometimes I use the stickers, I just in, uh, put them inside and then this is just my company name and everything. Oh, so that's it. So if uh, the boxes are not really tight, but the boxes, if I fear that these boxes are gonna maybe open, I just remove the sticker and then put it on the outside so that it doesn't open or nobody can open this here and then I'm done so 
so those are the most important things that i feel like i need especially in the beginning of your business when you don't really want to go all the way in or invest a lot of money in the beginning you can just go for the most basics for your online store but with take a lot all these things that i've showed you uh, all these things that i've shown you i have never added anything on top of this so you can still run your business for years without adding any other thing so these are all the items that you're gonna need for your business and thank you so much for watching this video. We're going to meet in the other videos.